All right, let's see how this video goes, and I hope it does go well, because I'm going to be making some die rolls, and I'm not going to redo them if the video isn't good. Okay, I'll try to give you a bit of context. Um, this is it. Um, after these two combats, it's the end of the Central Powers' turn. It's the end of, well, end of, the, end of Germany's turn, of course. And then we're off to Russia. Um, and it's weird. I can just start now. I'm starting to feel everything kind of like grinding to a halt. It's a weird feeling. Just because there's less and less happening in some ways, but it seems like um, what may happen is really going to have a, a dramatic impact. I'm going to have to go with them. I'm going to tell you what, it's not, uh, I'm doing the best I can under sub-optimum conditions, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I've decided to kind of step up the ante here, so I think you can see I've got two combats about to occur. And I'll try to put them into context for you guys. Um, yeah, I can't, I just don't have enough strength points um, uh, to bring across to, um, I started marking off because I was like, okay, I'm going to up the ante here. I'm not going to do this guaranteed two hits anymore. I'm going to have to guarantee three hits because the Russians are just playing hardball with the defense. So, and, and this E2 here, just to let you know, that means in two more turns, uh, essentially the end of the mini turn at the end of uh, the mini game at the end of November uh, that'll become entrenched just like everybody else so you can see why I want to nail that the 31 there is actually um, the amount of attacking strength points I'm going to be able to t uh, to come to bear even though uh, well you'll see in a minute I just couldn't I would like to but I have to just hedge my bets I've got to figure out which ones are the best opera best chance if I take them and force a retreat what is going to cause the worst possible uh, amount of problems for the Russians. And as far as I'm concerned, this one is a sweetheart. This one's also, it's just, I can start wrapping around. I have to, I think I can maybe get this one more spot here and at least get them away from the river at that spot. Now, if I take this position, that means I would have one, two, three uh, attacking spots on this trench. I would have one, two, three, four, five, five out of six on, of, sorry, what am I saying? I'd have one, two, three, four out of six on the, on this guy. I, I'm, I haven't looked at what the, um, uh, if there, if you start uh, losing your defensive uh, capability with the trench when you start getting this, that's another, that's, uh, that's for mid turn or whatever. But if you don't think the, that's a good spot, I mean, my God, I've got um, I've got a core HQ here, um, and you know it's uh, well, it's the Russians' fault. They moved some infant. They had this would have been a trench this turn, but um, I accident well the Russians accidentally moved a, a troop out of there, like a combat troop, and it, it negated all that work. Oh, brother. So, anyways, here we go. I'll tell you what's been going on. I've been making notes. Um, initially, I did. I thought I would be able to bring enough uh, strength points to bear. Let me get my notes. Um, I think I have the... So here I would need to, do, to, to guarantee three hits. At 2107, which is this guy here, I would need 34. I am not able to bring 34 strength points to bear. I can only bring 18. That's why I have the 18 attacking strength points you're going to see in a minute because this is this guy by the 12th, uh, the 12th core over here. I can only supply, uh, uh, I can only expend two supply points to exp uh, basically to fully supply eight strength points. The remainder are going to be halved to go in there. That's why I've only, I'm going to end up only with 18. I don't even know what's under the hood here. So we're, we're going to find out together basically. So we'll find out how whether or not, oh, it's too bad. Uh, anyways, I had, I thought I was going to be able to bring 34 here, which would have been exactly what I needed. Unfortunately, I broke the stacking limit. I would have had, I would have had to in, insert seven divisions there, so I had to move some guys over here. And that's the best I can do. Uh, due to the, I can bring, like, look at the, okay, look at it this way. I can wait one turn, and I can bring, I could sh do a little bit more shuffling, and probably guarantee a certain amount, okay? But what do you think is going to happen in, in the in-between? Do you honestly believe the Russians are just going to... They know I've been hammering away at this spot, like all these areas, for quite a long time. They're going to reinforce the positions. I can't take that risk. Uh, in the sense that I may end up, even though 
I'll bring more strength, attacking strength points to bear next turn, I may end up in the same difference or a ratio, you know what I mean, with other people that use those type of uh, CRTs. You get the idea. In other words, I'm, I'm just going to end up in the same situation just with more troops in, in a way, and I may end up having to expend more uh, uh, supply points. So that's it. So this, uh, so this attack's going to try, it's on broken train, we're going to go through the whole thing, and then um, I, I'm going to I'm going to do the second one here, because this one's a, that's the one that's going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot of stuff, I've got to take a look at the dice, um, uh, where the dice, the, the dice tower can go, I think it can go something like that, and you guys can maybe hopefully see a good spot. I'll try to, uh, there, how's that? If I bring in even more, hopefully you guys will be able to see the full on. It's almost like I need to, but then of course I'll, I'll affect the, um, you know what I mean, the, or would I? Hold on, maybe I'll put in a, um, if I, oh my gosh, I've got the uh, 1914, 1918, I mean how fitting in the sense it's also a chance of, a game of chance. I'll use my deck of cards here, and I'll put it under here, maybe that'll help um, alter, like move the thing so you guys can see the full on. Hold on here, I'll try to, just in case. That should work. Of course, then it'll always slide to there. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm not thinking very smart, am I? I'm being too whatever. Let's just, for Christ's sakes, Chris, play the gall darn thing. How's that? We'll go with that. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways. Uh, we're not rolling yet. Christopher, we're not rolling yet. Hold your horses. Okay, so let's go to the first attack here at 2107. I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, this, this guy here, let me get rid of the, well, I don't know, let's find out. So like I said, I'm going to bring 18 attacking strength points to bear, we're going to find out. I have no idea what's under the hood. Okay, it's, well, I know it's BG-62, but hold on, I have no idea what that is. All I know is if I take these two positions, I think I'm going to be causing a hell of a lot of grief for the, the Russians. Um, yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? to be doing uh, certain things like that. Okay, number 62. Let's find out what uh, what's under the hood in number 62. What the hell have the Russians been up to? Okay, I've got good chance here, man. It's only seven strength points. Let me go put a thing on. Hold on here. Interesting. Yeah, it's because I've been, you know, as the Germans, I've been doing a lot of attacks over there so that no matter even, I know they've got tons of forces, but they had to keep spreading their line a bit thinner, and especially when they started extending over to here towards Memo, um, that caused some issues as well. Okay, so we'll put the Russian seven strength points there. I'll put it way over to the right just to keep it off to the side. Okay, and we've got, and I'm going to get rid of, I don't know, if, uh, let's not get, start getting funky. So that's BG-37. I'm going to tell you what's on BG-37. That's the 3rd Infantry Division, the 4th Infantry Division, and the 21st Landwehr Brigade. The 21st Landwehr Brigade is probably not too happy. They were part of the uh, 11th Corps. I had to move them over to the 12th to get uh, some extra strength points. <laughs> it's like, sorry. And then uh, number uh, 36 over here. I'm not using the Cav. That's the 4th Cavalry Division, but I was seriously thinking about it, trust me, because they have two strength points. So I was like, okay, I can risk maybe taking a hit. That's the 33rd Landwehr Brigade, the 47th Reserve Infantry Division, and the 48th Reserve Infantry Division. I've got a, and uh, like I said, oh sorry, it's the 6th Cavalry Division. They're attached uh, with these guys over here. That's why I've got that little horse medal or whatever um, there, uh, but they will not participate in the attack. Uh, the 12th Corps over here is going to expend uh, two, uh, two supply points to allow eight strength points to be used at full strength. The remaining strength points were, will attack at half strength due to being unsupplied. The total strength points is 29. The attacking strength points is therefore 18. All right, looking at my battery. My battery is dying big effing time. Holy F. I thought I had, uh, maybe we'll have to do just one combat. And the Russians are defending across broken terrain. Minus one to the attacker die roll, and away we go. So, what do I need? I have to really keep an eye, but I did smart enough, to, I'm gonna have to maybe separate the videos, that's it. So with, uh, like I said, with um, 18 um, attacking strength points, 
uh, with a minus one to my die roll. The worst I can do is one hit. The best I can do is three. And I'll need three hits uh, due to the fact they're doing the seven. They may have uh, got, caused me a lot of grief, you sons of bitches. Anyways, let's see. Uh, I'm going to redo it. I'm, I hope you don't mind because I kind of, you know what I mean? I didn't, uh, I want them both to go together. I, what would a four have done? A uh, four would have not done it. So I should be happy as the Germans. Maybe I should just not use this. It seemed to have caused a bit of issues. We'll just go with it. It's, Jesus Christ, Christopher. It's like suspense from hell. Just look. It's a six. Oh, you can't see it. So it was a good thing for the Germans that it's been three times. Um, so with a six, uh, brings them down to a five. That's three hits. It's going to force them to retreat. Uh, I'm getting very close to the end of my battery. Um, let's see what... I can't, I can't supply them. Uh, I just don't have anything. So it's seven right back. Does that make sense to you? Because it's halved and then doubled. Okay, so here we go. But holy smokes. So the first combat went through, um, and then I'll uh, switch batteries and go to combat number two. Here we go. So it's the Russians counterattacking with seven strength points. And it's a six. What the hell is going on here? Uh, so that's a uh, one hit. Um, so I would have been, yeah, you know, I don't need to, I wouldn't have uh, killed the cavalry. So I'm going to move these guys back towards the core HQ. I'll just um, uh, push them off to the side. And uh, that'll be that, I think. And then I'll put in a... Hold on. And then, hold on, I'll grab a six, just for now. So you'll re see where, ha where it happened to. So they retreated to here. Yes, I'm doing it at a really weird angle here. And then I'll move it, I'll put in a blank German counter there for now. Hold on. I'll have to probably grab one, won't I? Because somebody's going to go there. You know, 78. It's the first one I saw. That's usually what I do. So whoever goes there is going to be transformed. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to transform that into a PG-78. So we did it. Uh, we were able to move. Yep. All right. See you. It's going crazy.